Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss the effect of A on a trig function. Let's look at the effect of A. So we find A in front of the function name there. So the question says sketch the graphs of y is equal to sin x and y is 2 sin x for the interval x is an element minus 360 up to 360. Now already sketched for you there, the purple graph is y is equal to sin x and the green graph is y is equal to 2 sin x. Now what's important on the purple graph, the original graph, y is equal to sin x, the number in front of sin is an invisible one. Therefore, the amplitude is 1. So when we go to the graph of y is equal to 2 sin x, a's value is 2. Therefore, the amplitude is equal to 2. And when you look at the sketch, you can clearly see the, the amplitude is 2. Let's look at another example. Sketch the graph of y is equal to sin x and y is equal to minus 3 sin x for the interval x is an element minus 360 up to 360. So the purple graph is y is equal to sin x and then the green graph is the graph y is equal to minus 3 sin x. Back to the purple graph, the original graph, y is equal to sin x, the amplitude is 1, since the a is this invisible 1. And I just want to reiterate that the period is still 360 for both graphs. Now when we go to the green graph, y is equal to minus 3 sin x, you will see that since a's value is negative, there was a reflection about the x-axis for your graph. And minus 3, that implies that the amplitude is 3. Now remember, I said right at the beginning, amplitude is always positive. So although a's value is negative 3, you answer that the amplitude is positive 3. And then when you look at your graph, it's very clear that your graph turns the at 3 and at negative 3. Let's look at another example. Sketch the graph of y is equal to sin x and y is negative 2 sin x. For the interval, x is an element minus 270 up to 180 degrees. So again, you find the purple graph is the normal y is equal to sin x graph and the red graph is the y is equal to negative 2 sin x. Let's go to the purple graph. The amplitude is 1 since there is an invisible 1. But then on the red graph, again, you can see that a's value is negative 2. Therefore, your graph was reflected about the x-axis and your amplitude is positive too because amplitude is always positive. Now I want to cater for the interval x is an element minus 270 up to 180. It's this part over there. So my advice to you is you sketch the original graph for the interval minus 360 up to 360 and then you erase whatever falls outside of the interval. So the interval starts at negative 270. So on your red graph, this is the part that you will erase and on your purple graph, that's the part that you will erase so that it only starts at minus 270 and then your interval ends at 180 so for your red graph the y is equal to minus sin x graph this is the part that you're going to erase and on the y is sin x graph
that's the part that you erase. So my advice is sketch the original graph and then erase whatever falls outside of the interval. Let's look at the influence of A on the cos graph. So the question says, sketch the graphs of y is equal to cos x and y is equal to 4 cos x for the interval x is an element minus 360 up to 360. Now, the blue graph is the original one, y is equal to cos x, and then your green graph is y is 4 cos x. Let's go back to the blue one, y is equal to cos x, so a's value is invisible 1, therefore the amplitude is 1. On the green graph, a's value is 4, and therefore your amplitude is 4. And you can see what happened. It was still the same critical points, 90, 180, 270. It's just that suddenly your graph, instead of starting at 1, now it starts at 4, at the point 0 and 4, and it turns at the point 180 degrees and negative 4. And the amplitude is 4. Sketch the graphs of y is equal to cos x and y is equal to minus 2 cos x. For the interval, x is an element minus 180 degrees up to 270. So already sketched for you there, the blue graph, y is equal to cos x. That's the normal cos x graph. And then the red graph, y is equal to minus 2 cos x. Since A's value is a negative, now your graph was reflected about the x-axis. Back to the blue graph, y is equal to cos x, A's value is invisible 1, therefore the amplitude is 1. And then on the red graph, the y is equal to minus 2 cos x. The amplitude there will be plus 2. Remember, amplitude is positive. But we have a problem in this one since the interval was from x is an element minus 180 up to 270. So you go to back to your graphs and you erase everything that's outside of that interval. So when you go to the red graph, this is the part that you will erase. And when you go to y is equal to cos x, the blue graph, this is the part that you will erase. And you make sure that your graph starts there at minus 180. And then it goes up to 270. Therefore, for the red graph, this is the part that you will erase. And for the blue graph, that's the part that you will erase. And remember, on the red graph, y is equal to minus 2 cos x. The amplitude is positive 2. Let's look at the effect of A on the tan graph. So the question says, sketch the graphs of Y is equal to tan X and Y is half tan X for the interval. X is an element minus 180 and 80 degrees. So the blue graph is y is equal to tan x. No problem there. Now, suddenly, your a's value is a half. And it, this is what the influence will be. If you go to the original tan graph, you will see that there's a point at 45 degrees and 1, since this graph's uh, um, a value was 1. Now, for the y is half tan x graph, your critical point changes to 45 and a half. So your graph will do that. And then your other critical point for the blue graph was 135 degrees and minus 0, 0,5. Now, uh, I mean it was 135 and minus 1. Now for the green graph, your new critical point will be at 135 and minus a half and 
there's your graph and the blue graph used to have the critical point minus 45 degrees and minus 1. Now your graph will be at minus 45 degrees and minus a half. That's your one critical point. And then your other critical point on the blue graph used to be minus 135 and 1. Now it's going to be minus 135 and a half. And you join the lines. And just keep in mind that you cannot cross or intersect with your asymptote. And then I just want to show you here that the equation for the green graph is y is half tan x. And remember, this graph does not have an amplitude. Let's do another example. Sketch the graphs of y is equal to tan x and y is minus tan x. For the interval, x is an element minus 180 degrees up to 180 degrees. So the blue graph that's already sketched for you there is the graph y is equal to tan x. Now the graph y is minus tan x. That means your graph was reflected about the x-axis. And suddenly this is what your graph will look like. At 45 and minus 1, so your graph will pass that point and do that. And at 135 and 1. So suddenly your graph looks like that. And then on this side, negative uh, 45 and 1. So your graph will pass that point. And minus 135 and negative 1. So it will start at negative 180. And there's your graph. Remember, don't cross the asymptote. And then therefore... Uh, there's your graph. Just keep in mind that the period still stays 180 degrees. In the next video, I will discuss the effect of Q on a trig function. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.